Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a batch file within ClickView and then execute that batch file. It's a question that I asked um, Stephen Redmond on his uh, ClickTips Click blog about a year ago. Um, Stephen's also the author of three ClickView books so I'd suggest you, you go out and get those. But basically I asked the question, can we create a or generate and execute a batch file in ClickView? And Stephen came back with the answer, so I'm, I'm going to do a video on that now. Um, so what we'll do is, we're going to click view script, and we're going to uh, create the batch file. So what we'll, we'll name this table uh, batch file, and we'll say load, and we'll say ram, this is a test, as So now if we reload that, we'll have a field called at echo off. At the moment it's still nothing, and then you'll see ram this is a test. So then we're going to the next step, we go back into the script, is we're going to create a loop for each uh, file that we want to move from the, each folder. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to move these text files from folder to new folder. So now we'll say for each e file in file list and we put in here the the folder name and then we'll say star.txt And we load this is where we want to create our we'll call this bat file as well so for each of these files we want to move the file so we can copy this and we want to move it to the location um, new location so we we'll copy this and we'll just change this to new and again we'll say as at echo off and again we'll auto generate one so now if we reload this and click OK and then we scroll this down you can see that it has reloaded the first file so what we've missed out on there is we just put in so it's gone through for each file and then we have to say next so now if we reload this it should come in, go through the five files so you can see it's saying move uh, 1.txt to the new folder so if we go back in the next thing is we want to store that into a into a back to make the batch file so into a text file so we'd say store that file into copy this let's say test dot bat and then we'll do text so now if we uh, if we look in our temp folder we don't have a test dot txt and if we reload this click OK and then go back into our folder we have our we can edit that you can see it's created the batch file so the next thing to do is or the final thing to do is first of all we need to drop that table and then the last thing is we want to execute the batch file so we just copy this So now if you go in, we'll see that our folder is now empty and our new folder is full. So we'll do that one more time. So we'll cut those from there and put, put them back into the first folder. Just double check. And they're not there. We go back into click view, 
press control and click with the script. One final thing we could actually do is after the next is just copy this note statement here and we can remove this uh, remove part and put in a pause. So now when we reload the script, it will actually pause. So it's saying one file has moved, uh, so file number one, two, G, K, and T, and then we get our pause. So then when we press the uh, press any key, it will actually move those files. So we'll open up the folder. So that's you can see actually it's already uh, moved them. So that just finishes it. So now we go into uh, if you go back into our folder, you can see our new folder contains the five files. That's pretty much it. I hope that helps. Um, again, I encourage you to check out Stephen's blog, uh, Click Tips. Um, and also, you can see up here, the, uh, he's written three books on ClickView. Um, so, check it out. Thanks a lot. See you again.